Okay, uh, welcome. This is uh, Mike Kaufman, the uh, creator and administrator of the Motor Oil Evaluator website. And I just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of just how easy this system is to use to find the best oils for your particular vehicle. So uh, let's say that I've got a vehicle that calls for a 5W20 motor oil. And I also have uh, a slightly older vehicle. And so therefore, I really don't want um, to use a synthetic product. I'm going to stick with a petroleum oil um, for this particular application to make sure that it doesn't leak. So now you can now see I have limited uh, my listing to only 5W20s. You'll see that in the viscosity column. And in the type column, you'll see I have only petroleum oils. Now, uh, when I before I filtered this uh, by viscosity and by type, uh, we had about 1,300 oils uh, in the system here we've now narrowed our search down to 33 um, and that right there would have taken you maybe about 20 seconds okay so um, now we've got this narrowed down now let's make sure we've got all oils on one page okay so now if we scroll through here we actually have all 33 oils right on this page and um, what we're going to do now is we're going to sort this. Okay, now we can sort this by any column we like. So we could sort it by brand. Um, if we're looking for particular brands, we can sort it by product name. Um, we can sort it by viscosity index, pour point, flash point. I mean, pick your column. It doesn't matter. You can sort it by any one of these columns. Now, um, in this case, I'm going to sort by score. Um, in fact, you can sort it by either one of these since I'm using all the same viscosity. If you sort this by rank, okay, um, this oil here is the top ranked petroleum oil. Now you see it's ranked number 25. That's because there are likely um, synthetic and semi-synthetic oils that are of better quality, have better specifications that rank higher than this. So this is the top ranked petroleum oil in this category. Now please understand that these rankings are not entirely perfect. Okay, So uh, if you look at the scores, um, these are a quality score, and the higher the number, the better the oil typically. But again, this is not an exact science. So my recommendation to you would be once you've got this narrowed down, then simply look at the oils that fall in the first three, four, maybe five slots in this category. Um, and of course, if one of these, you know, like let's say the fifth one is way down in terms of score from the top, well, then maybe you might knock that out. But the point is, find the oils that are at the top of this category category and then look up pricing for those products and find the oils that sit near the top of the category that, that give you the best pricing and you can even look here if you click on these oils you'll see down here it gives you the API classifications that are met by that oil to make sure it meets the classifications that you need okay just select the oil and it'll show it down here if you want to compare various oils you can select them and click uh, compare and you'll see them show up down here. All three oils all meet all of these API specs. You can also look at what specs the uh, what ACEA, which is European classifications, what ones they meet. Um, you can look up more information, which will give you a link to the manufacturer's website. Um, so there's a lot of ways that you can use this. You can undo the comparison, which will then bring back all of the oils that were in the list. Okay, it re um, sorts them so you'd have to to readjust again um, but you can see it's very quick very easy here um, to to sort and filter these oils in uh, whatever way you need so let's say now we decided well actually I think I want a synthetic oil so now we go back in change our filter and now it's only going to list 5w20 synthetic oils and you'll see here then if you look at this list these are the oils that all fell you know near the top of that list now there are some synthetics that fall down here lower which generally would would kind of give you pause to say hmm maybe you know yeah okay maybe they're synthetic but they must not be you know terribly high quality synthetics or they wouldn't show up down here at the bottom of the rankings okay but you know look at the other specs sometimes there's anomalies in here sometimes there's reasons um, for for that but 
by and large, um, look at these scores and rankings and it'll give you a really good idea of, of what quality oil that you've got. You really would like to see oils that have mainly black numbers up here. Um, the more red numbers that you see, that means those are default values. In other words, they're values that, that mean that the manufacturer didn't provide that information. So what we've done is to say, because this oil meets these specs, we know there are certain characteristics that it has to adhere to. So in other words, we know because of what type of oil this is and the specs that it meets and whatnot, that it has to have a viscosity index of at least 140 or it couldn't be classified as it is in terms of its viscosity and API classifications. So we know that's the minimum value. Might be higher than that, but it must not be too much higher, otherwise Shell probably would have listed it. So if you see it in red, that means it's a default value. NOAC value values lower the better. Highest value that this oil could have and still be classified as it is would be 13%. So we put that number in here. It might be lower than that, but again, if it was much lower, you'd think that Shell would put it on their spec sheet. TBN has to be at least 8. High temperature, high shear score has to be at least 2.6. So these are all areas where the Shell um, form, they didn't list their numbers and so therefore we put down the minimum values here or maximum depending on what the case may be okay you can see here as you scroll over here there's more specifications over this direction but the most important ones are over here in this area okay so uh, just a very quick and easy process you can filter this any way that you like recognize any of these columns can be used as a filter criteria so if we wanted oils that only have a NOAC score of lower than 10 or only a viscosity index of over one 40 you just select another one add it to the list and then you select whether you know greater than or equal to like whatever so let's say we wanted viscosity indexes that are only greater than 150 we click OK and you'll see now only viscosity indexes over 150 nothing that has a viscosity index less than 150 is in this list anymore Okay, so I hope that gives you a really good idea of just how the system works and how quick it is. Again, just briefly, um, let's say, okay, I got another vehicle. It calls for a 5W30. So we run down here, we grab 530. Come in here to our filters. We only want synthetic. So type add sin. We also only want. Uh, no X scores that are below 12 um, and then we say OK. So now it restricts my list to 5W30 synthetic oils that only have no X scores that are below 12 and that is my list and that took what 30 seconds um, then you sort say OK I want the highest ranked oils in this category. I'm going to look at those oils, see which ones look to be the best um, in that range, find pricing on those, determine what one I want to purchase, and I'm all set. But a much uh, much quicker process than going to each individual manufacturer's website and trying to find their, their spec sheets and trying to do comparisons and all that kind of thing. Just a very quick and easy way to get this process done. So uh, thanks a bunch, and uh, have a wonderful day.